The downtown farmer's market prepares to roll into its second weekend of the season. This is a place that's given rise to many small Iowa businesses that have gone on to become regional and even national brands. One of those started in a local kitchen in 2016. and now reaches the shelves of the largest retailers in the country. Andy Fields joins us now with the story behind a spicy business. Uh, yeah, guys, the, the story of Lola's fine hot sauces is so good you'd think it was created in a lab. Well, actually, it came out of an Iowa kitchen. Two immigrant parents who love food and their business-savvy son who cooked up a big hit out of this small bottle. For a life spent here in Iowa, you can't believe how far it's come. From day one, I treated this as a serious business. Tafiq Shaw had a mind for numbers, a personality for sales, and a mom who could really cook. We would make our hot sauce in the evenings. We'd work our full-time jobs, cook in the evenings, go to the farmer's markets, I'd sell it. For the first two years, every bottle of Lola's Fine Hot Sauce was sold in person by Shaw. Then one day, the stores came calling. Bring the sauce, they said, and your patience. And I would stay and I'd work with the retailer. I'd demo. I've demoed almost every single Hy-Vee, every single Fairway, personally myself, just about. And it's, uh, it's really a grind. Six years later, Lola's, named after his Filipino mom and flavored with a bit of his Pakistani dad, is a nationwide hit. <laughs> still made small batch. The way that we made it in my mom's kitchen is the same way that we make it today. Nothing has changed. Well, his mom's kitchen didn't have an automated bottling machine, but you get it. Any new item that comes out, my mom is the one that's created it. Lola's line is now available just about everywhere, from Walmart to Casey's to that food shopper's paradise, Lowe's. Shah's streak is as hot as his sauce, and I can attest that's a strong indictment. Oh! Yep, there you go. It kicks. Oh. It kicks. It was a fish out of water feeling at first, but afterwards it just became second nature, like you were almost born for this. This weekend, he returns to where he started, the downtown farmer's market, where he'll be named the U.S. Small Business Administration's Minority Business Champion of the Year. You know, for us to win this award, it means a lot, and not only for us as a company and for our staff, but I think it's a great win for our state and a great win for Mama Lola. Yeah, so Tafiq Shah will get that award on Saturday morning at 7 a.m. and then he'll ring the opening bell. And then he'll go back to selling Lola's fine hot sauces at the farmer's market and nationwide. He just closed a deal with Walgreens. I can see it now. For a stuffy nose, the pharmacist can recommend Vicks Vapo Rub and or Lola's ghost pepper sauce. <laughs> Brilliant. Right? They're going to hire you. You could do marketing for them. I, he doesn't need the help. This guy is a walking marketing machine. He's very smart. He's really well spoken. Oh, man. And he just can rattle off the stuff. I mean, he was born to do this, and it's amazing. He's only been in it for six years. Well, what a deserving award, and what a cool tribute to Lola. Absolutely. Thanks, Good Andy. story to tell. Yeah, so mm. fun. We love it. Congrats. With Mother's Day coming up, that's a good boy. <laughs> yes, that's a is. very good boy. Mama's yeah. proud. Yes, that's fantastic. <laughs> oh, man.